Well, good morning from uh, San Diego Bay. Been a while. So it's early November and uh, ready for a change. So I decided to come in here to San Diego Bay, get some spotted bay bass and maybe some halibut and other uh, gift fish in there. I just launched from Tidelands Park here. Obviously it's by the Coronado Bay Bridge. Should be a fun day. There we go. First fish of the day. That didn't take very long. Not the biggest fish, but. So far, a pretty good day. <laughs> so I'm letting it get all the way down to the bottom. He's pulling up slowly. And there it is. So what I'm using today is a little gulp three inch mullet. This is the uh, smelt color or gulp uh, minnow, pardon me. And I have a tendency to use smaller baits. A lot of people like to use larger baits, but I find anything in the bay will eat these. A little jig head. Three inch size. Bounced all over the place. These have done really well with me. But the one thing about them is that they are uh, very delicate. They get shredded in like one or two fish, so you gotta have plenty on hand. So we've got an incoming tide, and I can feel the surge. That's all nice. But let's see if it comes back, and it did. <laughs> this feels like a little better fish. And again, I'm only using six pound test. Why? Because I can. <laughs> it's fun. All right, number six. A little better fish. All day long with fish like that. Again, I'm only using an eighth ounce uh, jig head. Very small. There we go again. Action out here has been awesome this morning. Number 10. It's kind of contrary to what a lot of people I talk to. They like the bigger baits, you know, bigger baits, bigger fish, and I understand that, but I'm using six pound tests, so I get any fish out here, it's fun. Like I said, this will catch yellowfin croaker, bonefish, bass, halibut, mackerel, obviously, you saw earlier. <laughs> 
one of the great things about San Diego, you got amazing freshwater fishing, incredible saltwater fishing, inshore, bay fishing, you know, all kinds of stuff, offshore fishing, lobster fishing. Oh. Fun day so far, heading out around the corner, already got 14 spotted bay bass and two mackerel and ready for more. So here we go. And I'm not even to the place where I wanted to fish yet. <laughs> so fun. I'd like to get a three pound spotty today. That'd be nice. I haven't done that in a while. So there was one day that I was out here fishing with uh, Brad and Scott. Not my brother Scott, but a different Scott. And we were on Scott's boat and headed out to the kelp beds right off Point Loma to do some calico fishing. We get out there and these fish are boiling everywhere. I mean, everywhere. So throw out a bait and I mean, I get hooked right in the kelp almost immediately. I'm yanking on the bait, trying to get it back. And the thing comes flying out of the, out of the kelp right at my face. So I turn like this appreciative of uh, having martial arts skills. And uh, the, the jig head embeds itself in my shoulder. Now I don't want to go back in. It's the first time on this guy's boat and I don't want to look like a total like maroon. So I am tell Brad, grab the bait knife, sterilize it with the lighter, cut it out of my shoulder. And he's like, you serious? Like, yeah. Brad says, I've never intentionally cut human flesh before. <laughs> so he, I tried to pull it out. I mean, this thing was deep. It was like a six aught hook buried up to the shank in the muscle of my deltoid. And so he ends up cutting it out. And the whole time, just like, can't believe this is going on. And next cast, get a three pound calico. <laughs> Proceeded later on that day to get a three pound sand bass and a three pound spotted bay bass in the bay. And it's the first time I had ever done that and gotten that grand slam. What an awesome fishing day. Great experience. And to this day, we still talk about that story. Nope. Closer to that, getting closer to that three pound spotted bay bass. It's time for our first beer of the day. Let's see what the little magic blue bag has to offer. So, this is a modern times beer. Modern times is here in San Diego. This is the Electrojet, Electrojet. Trying to get the uh, font on there is a little funky, so I just wanted to make sure I got the name right. This is a 6.8% IPA, hazy IPA. Got a good fruity floral nose. Love the beers from modern times. Great body, nice bitterness, but it's still got that hazy juiciness to it at the same time. So it kind of reminds me of Orderville, but a little bit more bitter than Orderville, which I like. Got this at the uh, local bottle shop in Poway. Check them out. The Electrojet. Always enjoy the graphics from uh, modern times too. That's a good one. That's a keeper. Pick yourself up some.
so much fun out here in San Diego Bay, south of the Coronado Bridge. I launched right by the Coronado Bridge. Is that number 19? Yeah, that was number 19. We've got 19 bass, two mackerel. Let's see if we can add a couple other species on here. Fish right over here have just been crushing it. Oh, like that. Vente, number 20. Oh, yeah. nice. That's how it's supposed to come out. Dono, dono, dono. Give me a kiss, baby. Come on, give me a kiss. 22. Oh, crap. Another fish. <laughs> I'm trying to put away. <laughs> oh. All right. There's something. Every time I go to fix something or put something away, I do get that. So that's. <laughs> Another nice spotty, beautiful fish. I got a second beer for you guys today. One of my all time favorites. I figured, figured it was applicable to, uh, we're out here. It's the Port Brewing Company Shark Attack. Double red ale, oh, I love this beer. crack it and you get hops and malt and a lot of malt this double red is a ballsy nine percent it's a big beer a lot of flavor but if you like malt you like hops it's blood in the water baby shark attack super great mouthfeel aroma it's got the full malt backbone with the hot bitterness. Oh, <laughs> it's the sweet spot. Always reminds me of autumn. Good fall beer. Love those big reds. Not enough people make them. Pick some of these up for sure if you can find them. Oh yeah, that hit hard. Blam. Always love fishing around the sun. Thirty-two. Go. Oh. oh, come on. There we go. Now we're back. Snagged in the grass. Ooh, a calico. Well, working on that uh, hat trick. First calico of the day. Can't say it's a monster, but it's a pretty fish. I love these fish. Staple of the Southern California watershed. 33 spotted bay bass. Two calico bass. Two 
mackerel and one halibut. It's 11 o'clock in the morning. Well, that hit on the way down. This is something different. He got a Corvina. Little vampire fish. Not a big one, but still a Corvina. You can see the little fangs in there. Awesome. Beautiful fish. Number 40. There we go. What an amazing day. Caught 43 spotted bay bass. A bunch of other fish. Just having a great time. A couple of great beers. Ate my sandwich. It's 1220. more can you ask for? Life is good. Number 45. We got a smelt. <laughs> Trying to catch all of the uh, species in the bay today. Spotted bay bass number 51, red alert, better take cover. If you get the reference, message me. <laughs> Leave a message in the comments down below. But uh, there's number 51. See you later, Chris. I'm trying to make it back to the car, but number 52. I tried spinner baits, I tried beavers, I tried fly fishing. You know, I was trying to you know, diversify and do some different things all day long. The gulp three inch minnow in the smelt color on an eighth ounce jig head has been destroying, destroying everything in the bay. It's been an amazing day. And I get to go see uh, Mr. Chris Arms play live tonight. Oh, maybe some more. day is done 53 bass is the final what a day <laughs> can ask for much more cheers see you later